on to um you know working with people like Duran Vidal and Ryan Toby on uh, Usher on songs like Caught Up, Superstar, Come Follow Me, off Confessions album. Um, I worked with Joe Scott, you know, on 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 um records like um God the Rodeo, the the Real Thing, um, My Petition, um some. Get worldwide airplay, boost online streaming and sales. Get noticed by major labels like BMG, Sony Music, and Empire. Your videos aired on TV in millions of homes. See what Never Stop Entertainment can do for you. Visit us now at NeverStopENT.com. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Dream Chasers Radio. This is me, Yaya. What's up, guys? That's right. It has been told that I am Yaya, 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 Yaya. That's who I am. I'm Yaya. Welcome to the show, guys. I am so very excited to be here. It is just such a pleasure to have so many amazing guests on the show today and on all the other days as well. And I got another guest for you. But I want to let you know that we are back on the radio on Soul Radio. And I will be putting up that link on the website so that you guys can tune in to all the amazing musical videos and audio videos. I'm going to say audios that we have, as well as interviews and music. I want to thank you guys again. And we got Pooh Bear on the show today. Welcome to the show, brother. How you doing? How are you? Happy birthday. Happy Thanks birthday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. So, you know, mm -hmm. I wanted to, you know, reiterate you're still here to some and to introduce you to some others. So tell us about your journey. I mean, you have worked with so many amazing people that I'm like, brother, I'm ready for the story. I'm just ready. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, yeah, what would you, you want me to go back to um, the beginning? I could do like a brief, just yeah, brief yeah. rundown. Nutshell, okay. um, no, nutshell. Yeah, so from New Haven, born in New Haven, Connecticut, um, you know, experienced the tornado at um, age eight. And uh, we were, it left me and my mom and my brother displaced. Out, we were homeless for a while. Ended up um, moving to Atlanta, Georgia uh, when I was 11. And then that's when like everybody was popping on the radio. Our a ABC, Criss Cross, all these kids groups were out. So I got inspired. And ultimately just started kids groups and recording. And then um, just to fast forward a few years, um, you know, I was in a group and my cousin had discovered a group called 112 and Jagged Edge, uh, Bear, Courtney Bear Seals. And he was like, you know, you can make money writing songs because I was already writing songs since I was like 11 years old. And um, he put me with Deron Jones and Q. Quintus Parker from 112 and we, you know, we um co-wrote a song together titled Anywhere. And that was like my first successful, you know, introduction into the music industry. I was 16 years old. I was in the 11th grade. And then um after that, you know, ended up doing records like Peaches and Cream and and Dance with Me and a lot of a lot of records on 112. And that went on to um, you know, working with people like Duran Vidal and Ryan Toby on uh, Usher, on songs like Caught Up, Superstar, Come Follow Me off Confessions album. Um, I worked with Joe Scott, you know, on 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 um records like um God the Rodeo, the the real thing, um, my petition, um, some of the records with Joe Scott. And then, then I went on to work with artists like Chris Brown. Um I wrote a song called I Could Transform You. Did a song called She Ain't You. Um and I went on to uh I was working with a lot of artists in between that, but these are the ones that stick out of my brain. Um, then I actually met, oh, I did a lot of records on Lupe Fiasco, um, lot, lots of songs with him. Um, then um, ultimately I ended up meeting a, a kid named Justin Bieber and, um, you know, did songs like, you know, well, I did, excuse me, I did albums like Journals. I did an album called Purpose and I did an album called Changes. And, um, you know, and um, I mean, a lot, a lot of artists in between. Um, the Isley Brothers, I did a record with them called um, The Plug on that last project um just work i just worked with a lot a lot of people i never stopped and um you know my goal was to always just um work in work in every genre of the music industry and i've worked with you know i've worked on a record called despacito the remix um 
which was a, a, um, one of my biggest records to date. Um, also, 10,000 Hours, Dan and Shay, which was country record. Um, Ed Sheeran, I Don't Care. Um, on and on and on. I've, I've sold over 700 million records. Um, currently at about 37 billion streams. Um, and, and, you know, just blessed, man, appreciative of, like, of, of my journey, man. I feel like I'm in the beginning, you know, of my artistry now, so. You know, I, I absolutely love that's that a little, That's a little rundown. Oh, I know. That's like the nutshell, right? I am absolutely in love with what, what has happened yes. for you. And I have to say this, you know, a lot of people don't know that oh, it is you. a lot of work. Just because you're not in front doesn't mean you're not working. No. You know, and and oh, man. You know, as an artist, as an artist, you know, because you know both sides. As an artist, you yes. are just as strong as your crew, the people behind you. Mm. And yes, I, you absolutely. Know, I just, I, I, I just have to say that thank goodness that you didn't stop. And you kept going. Oh, man. I mean, I know uh, yeah. there were ups and downs. I know that. I yes. Know that. What, yeah, what yeah. So many, so many lessons? reasons to stop. Oh, yeah. What has been one of the lessons that you learned that will never stop you ever again? Um, just, you know, one, one, one lesson that I learned is just, um, just being brutally honest, you know, just allowing yourself to, like allow myself to be brutally honest with my art and my my skill and my craft so that i could continue to grow you know it's a major lesson that i feel like you know um some people may never learn it um but for me being a songwriter um just being brutally honest with myself um making sure that you know i'm i'm listening to what's going what's current and you know making sure that i'm not trying to recreate the will but just make a bigger will you know and um so that you know my my creations don't go over people's heads and um but yeah just ultimately the biggest lesson for me is just um <clears throat> just believing in myself man believing in myself and 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 no matter what visualizing and putting the work towards it like actually putting the work in so it can actually manifest you know the visual can actually turn into physical matter and um, just not stopping, you know, that's the, the most, most people just give up like right before and you just never really know. So for me, it's like never give up, man, and, and be brutally honest with yourself. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. You know, a lot of people say, yeah, yeah, you know, you got so many amazing people on the show. I said, no, I have so many amazing stories of people uh, who have not given up because, yeah. you know, it's like, how, how would you say it? It's like, okay, you have this journey and you yep. have these opportunities, but yep. these sometimes they don't come because you mm. stop. Like you said, it does. You stopped. If yeah. you were stopped yeah. in the middle of all of that, if you would have succumbed to the yeah. down, you would have yep. never made it to the up. No, no. And I, I just saw something recently, like just watching um this guy, he had a great philosophy about a tree, you know, like a tree has to grow down first in order for it to grow up, you know? Mm -hmm. So we kind of like relate that to, you know, to our lives, man, as humans, like we have to grow downwards. Like we gotta fail. We gotta make the mistakes. We gotta do that in order for us to actually get, grow back and get taller and, and learn from those mistakes and be able to really, really, you know, succeed in whatever it is we're trying to do. But, um, you know, it's absolutely about the, the failures. It's about the, the losses and all the all the denial you know all that stuff right there equals for me it's like it turns into gas it turns into to lessons and then you know as long as you don't stop and you use it towards you know good energy then it usually ends up with being a part of perseverance you know those yeah. are the those are the steps i love that analogy i love that because you know, I, I and people look at me and they think I'm cuckoo. You know, I'm outside in my yard. I'm planting aloe on my hill because I oh, know yeah. aloe has to dig deep. And it's it, gotta it, go deep before it grows. The top will never grow until never the roots grow. are so big that yeah. then now it's gonna equal. So they don't. They take a long time to grow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they but, they, but it's so embedded, and the roots are so embedded that you mm -hmm. know the plant is just there for exactly. For a lifetime. 
Exactly. Yeah. So that's what you, you know, I absolutely, you know, admire what you've done. And, and I say kudos to you, man, kudos to you, because you're not only on, you know, the writing side, but you now are putting out a lot of material. Tell me about yes. this, like three, three albums. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot. Tell me about this. Yeah. So, no, I have um actually... I got about 12 albums done oh, like, that I love. Of course you yeah, do. Yeah, that I love for, I know I'm a songwriter for, that's what I do so for a living. So for me, it's like, you know, I got thousands, hundreds of thousands of songs. A lot of them go to, most of them go to the music abyss to never be heard again. Oh. Um, but I have, but I have about 12 albums that I love and they're all one idea albums. Like I believe in making one idea projects, you know, oh. like if, if you're, if you're going, if I'm going through a breakup and I make a, a album, you know, about a diff a breakup and different perspectives of breaking up and being hard, you know, going through heartache, then when somebody's going through, you know, a breakup, they don't have to just look for that one song to relate to. So I like to make albums that people don't have to skip. You know, if they're feeling like if it's, if it's love making, it's beast to make love to. If it's heartbreak, it's beast to break up to. If it's making up, it's beast to make up to. You know, so I have all these one idea albums that when people listen to them, whatever they're going through, they don't have to skip because I have a song for every aspect of that that idea, you know, and that's yeah. like a lot of people don't take the time out. They just kind of make schizophrenic albums and a song from there, that song. One minute they they sad, they breaking up. Next next song they in the club, they good, they in love again. And it's like, wait, how must how do we grow? How do you grow fans? How do you get people to relate to you if you if you're all over the place? It's like lock in with an idea and a thought so you can get people that are going through that same thing yeah. to be able to resonate with the whole project so i have that many i got 12 albums one idea albums and um you know i'm just releasing music um three songs at a time you know to radio um that way you know i just feel like the whole traditional way like focusing on one song i just feel like everything about the music industry has to change and i feel like i'm gonna be a part of that change yeah, you know, I, I put out Monday, I'm putting out music on Mondays. You know, what I mean, I'm not gonna put out music on Fridays because just to, like in order to cater to streaming services, I don't care. Like, great, you know, if my music connects and it works, then they're gonna, you know, people are gonna stream it. But I'm just not focusing on streaming. I'm focusing on the airwaves and making sure people can actually hear my music to know, see if they resonate with it. I don't know anybody that just puts on a playlist and listens to it. I just don't. I haven't met one person yet so you know but if it's popping if the music is hot and somebody wants to get to it quick and apple is on the embedded in their iphone and it's user friendly boom they're going to stream it right but I, i'm betting on the fact that they're going to know that the song exists by way of them driving to work or them on the way home from work or them sitting in traffic i'm yeah. betting on that more than hoping that somebody miraculously stumbles upon a playlist that I'm that I'm so hope so happen to be playlist <laughs> so I'm just I'm not I'm not putting all my eggs in that basket man I'm like I'm really like I want to reach the people man and yeah. I feel like I feel like a lot of people have turned their backs on a radio, radio and you know even even the internet radio like all, any forms of radio I just feel like I'm I'm embracing and like to me that's my priority no no yeah. no love no love lost to the, the DSPs or you know, no disrespect, you know, respect, most respectfully, I, you know, just have my, my mind and my heart set on all the different various forms of radio. Yeah, I hear you. I just, you know, I, I love that. I love that because, you know, not only am I on here on this platform, I'm also on radio as well. So, oh, nice. um, you know, it's, it's, it's a love and it's an art form, but it's mostly like, okay, so what are you going to do if there's no electricity? Do you know how to run an analog radio? <laughs> do you, right. Oh my you God. Know? <laughs> oh no, it's gonna happen, and it's coming. It's happening. It's gonna happen. We're gonna, you yeah. know, we're gonna shut the grid down. They, mm -hmm. they, keep, they keep warning us every week. You know. Oh yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's yeah, true. It's coming. You know, it's coming. Well, it's coming. You have three songs that you're getting ready to put out, and I want to make sure I say this is Charge yeah. Me, Edge yep. Off, and Add It. Yeah, yeah Charge Me's yeah. off now. We got number one added at Media Base this week. We just went, we just dropped it last Monday. Edge Off is gonna go next week, and then Attic is gonna follow that. And um, and those songs are gonna go towards different demographic, different radio formats. That way, you know, I'm just trying to like, you know, the people that like cheese pizza, then you got people that like pepperoni pizza, then you got people that like, 
barbecue chicken pizza. You know what I'm saying? And for me, it's like I want I want everybody to I want to be able to give everybody their favorite slice of pizza. I like barbecue. <laughs> I like the barbecue. I'm not yeah, gonna lie. right. <laughs> and then and then look, but the but the cool part of it is everybody loves pizza. Right. Mm-hmm. So hopefully yeah. they'll they'll start sharing each other's slice and like, oh, listen to this, you got this cheese slice. Oh, you can listen, you need to try this barbecue chicken slice. You need to try <laughs> this. You know what I'm saying? And then that's my my goal is hopefully that the pizza slices circulate and then everybody can have all the pizzas. Everybody can have all the pieces. And then I'll have another three records dropping for the summer. You know what I mean? Wow. I'm doing you know, so and then I'm gonna have and on my website as well, I'm gonna be putting out um a body of work that, you know. If you're subscribed to me, then you will be able to get some really exclusive music. Um, I will be re- also releasing like all my original covers of all the songs I've written, like all the hits for people that I've written. I have my version of it, so you know that that's a whole another project. But th- all that stuff will be on my website for like exclusive like access, and then I'll have my music that's out for the world, you know. But um. You know, that's it, you know, and a lot of the stuff. And I will be, you know, giving away stuff for free as well, man. Music, I have so much music. I just want to, I just want people to, to be able to, to see if they love it or not, man. And just give them the opportunity to see if they like my, any of my slices of pizza. Well, I think they do. I think that you slice some pizza and giving it out, and everybody's yeah. been sharing your pizza lately. Oh, man. That, that sounds good, but. Uh, no, yes. I like sharing my pizza. That's, that's what it's yeah, for, man. I like, feeding the, I like feeding the world. Yeah. So you've been sharing your pizza, and we all love it. So oh, I don't think there's going to be any difference right here, whether it's you from you and your hand or from someone else's. It's still you know yours. What? That's a great analogy. I have been giving people pieces vicariously through other pizza pop through other pizza there parlors. You go. You're right. You're right. That's what I'm I'm betting on my frequency. My pizza will be, you know, people will enjoy my pizza we even do. if it's coming coming from me, from Pooh Bear. You know I mean? so from directly from you? Directly that's from probably, the pizza maker himself. That's yeah. Even like <laughs> yes. I mean, you know, like when you go to New York and you yeah. sit down, <laughs> it's I don't know what's in, if it's the water, the herbs, yeah. or where they yeah. get I don't know what it is, but if you sit down somewhere else, that pizza yeah. don't taste as good as New York City. It's you know what? It's a, you know, I'm from New Haven. We got New Haven has the number one piece in the world. You know, you no, gotta try you gotta know, try man. peppies. But no, no, there's other places know. now. You got New the, York. New Jersey. Have you have you eaten pizza in New York? I have. I, I'm, I'm from New Haven, but and I'm telling you too, New Jersey, man, Star Tavern, Jersey. Orange, Orange County, Star Tavern is my favorite piece in the whole wide world. Really? No, dis- no disrespect to New, to New Haven, Connecticut, um, or New York, um, but Star Tavern, um, that's my plug. Shout out Star Tavern. I used to steal pizza down near. Um, <laughs> I used to steal pizza down near the, uh, the Central Park where they had pizza. the people. <laughs> I was yeah, a kid. Yeah. Oh, I okay. used to, uh, we used to take it off the tables and run into Central Park. Be quiet. Don't say anything. Oh, that's amazing. Let me tell you. Look, I got a pizza thief story too. You remember back in the day when you was like uh, Pizza Hut or Domino's was like 30 minutes or your pizza's free if they don't yes! deliver it? <laughs> so back when we was we were homeless, like we were really poor. So like oh every time God. I would call them like, yeah, it's been 31 minutes and the pizza man not here. And then and the manager would be like, no, sir. It's still 28 minutes. We're, we're watching. And I'm like, okay, what's your name? And then he'll tell me his name. And then when the pizza guy get there, I'll be like, look, your manager, Rocky, told me that, you know, you you know, it's been 31 minutes. And uh, it worked like two times. You know what I'm saying? I got two oh free pizzas gosh. like that. And then they, oh. I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> but that's both of our, we're both, we're both pizza thieves. We uh, both, we yeah, we're pizza thieves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm glad I got somebody to relate to my, my pizza theft. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you and me on the same plane. We be still, yes. you should be good now. Yeah, man, that's my, hey, it's pizza. That's my favorite food. I think, I, I think pizza might be one of my favorite foods. It's like our oh top, my three. Gosh. top three. Yeah. <laughs> Well, oh my gosh, it's been such a pleasure having you on the show, and I'm so glad that we have something in common. Yes, yes, we still pizza as kids. Yeah, we were pizza, we pizza thieves. thieves. Yes, pizza, pizza thieves. symbol. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Slice. Yeah. Yep. On the house. <laughs> oh my gosh Pooh thank you so much for being on Absolutely. the show it's such a pleasure we're going to go yes. ahead and if you're listening on the radio we're going to go ahead and play that song okay so we're going to have Charge Me I know we have we're going to get the other ones but we yes, have Charge Me 
And uh, definitely gonna, if you're listening to the radio, if you're watching on TV or somewhere else, we do not play the song here only because, you know, it gets flagged and then it gets taken down. And I've had all kinds of problems with that. So we don't do that. But if you tune in, we will put the link on the website so that you guys can go ahead and tune in and listen to that song anytime you wish. Okay. Anytime you wish. Pooh Bear's website is in the corner over here with the QR Mm -hmm. code as well as under his poohbear.com. P-O-O b-e-a-r.com if you can't read it and i want to thank you again so much for being on the show it's just been thank such you, a yeah, pleasure yeah. when you yes. drop your next stuff yes you must come back i'll come back i'll come up there too wherever you are you like you some you in the city i'll come up there just give me a day oh, and a day look, give this me is the time my and a green day. screen this is my green oh. screen you like it hey Oh, that's amazing. Isn't it nice? I was wondering. I was like, they're getting really good, man. Like these green screens, they're getting out of control. I, I really they thought are. she was in the city. So I'm like, that's a hell of a backdrop you got there, Woo! man. <laughs> Oh man, that's crazy. I'm renovating. So usually my backdrop will look like um it my mom's gold records and platinum records is behind me. So nice that. So but today um no one needs to see the mess. No, that's <laughs> who's, your, who's your mama? Who your mama? I, Evelyn Thomas. Evelyn Thomas. Okay, amazing. She's a legend. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. So that's mom. That's mom. But I want to thank you guys. I mean, I I just want to thank everybody. I want to thank Never Stop Entertainment for for allowing me to have you on the show. And I definitely want to thank you for being here. It has been such a pleasure. And your journey is such a blessing. Just keep going. You know, you're an inspiration. You've been giving pizza slices to everyone else. And now it's your turn to give your pizza slices in person. Thank you so much. (laughs) Have me, Aya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Pooh Bear. And happy birthday to you guys. Please don't forget to dare to be different. And until next time, guys, see ya. Thank you. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube or Instagram. Thank you for watching.